Hi to all. Today we are going to discuss about superposition theorem in English as well as Telugu. To understand clearly in English and Telugu, watch the video total entirely. Watch the full video for understanding purpose. The superposition theorem used to find current through any resistance, through any branch or power loss voltage drop across any branch. We can calculate by using superposition theorem. What is superposition theorem? What is the superposition theorem extends the use of Ohm's law? By the use of Ohm's law only we are calculating superposition theorem values. The voltage drop on current through any resistance can be calculated by using Ohm's law. The definition of uh, superposition theorem simply the current throw or voltage across any element in a linear bilateral network. Linear and bilateral network. The elements are linear elements like resistor and voltage source, current sources should be connected for superposition theorem to calculate. If any circuit does not consist of linear elements, the superposition theorem will not be applied. Superposition theorem extends the use of Ohm's law in the circuit for multiple sources. That means two or more voltage sources, two or more current sources. If the circuit has, then the current throw one element or current through any branch can be calculated by using superposition theorem. The superposition theorem's definition is the current through any element or any linear network equal to algebraic sum of currents or voltages produced independently by each source. Each source we are considering and remaining source will be deactivated. The superposition theorem is very helpful in determining voltage across element or current through a branch when the circuit contains multiple number of voltage or current sources. The definition of a superposition theorem is when the network consists of linear bilateral network consists of two or more voltage sources. Each source will be deactivated, one of the source will be activated. After that, the current through any branch is equal to algebraic sum of responses by two sources. That is the superposition theorem. In order to apply the superposition theorem to a network, certain conditions must be met. So, certain conditions are all the components must be linear. The linear elements are resistors, flux linkage is proportional to current in inductors, etc registers and inductors only all the components must be bilateral meaning that current in the same amount for opposite polarities of the source voltage the current can flow in both directions then it is a superposition theorem can be applied for only bilateral network and passive components may be used these are components such as registers capacitors inductors that do not amplify or rectify those are passive components. Active components may not be used. Active components include transistor, semiconductor diodes and electron tubes. Components are never bilateral, hence they are not used in superposition theorem. If the circuit consists of diodes, transistors, electron tubes such as components are nonlinear elements, Non-linear elements in the superposition theorem apply to the superposition theorem apply to the superposition components must be linear and bilateral and current can flow in both directions passive components are the resistors, capacitors, inductors this is amplify the signal we can use the DC voltage we can use the resistors, inductors and capacitors the superposition theorem statement choose them you go work a branch loop a current to everything I'm going to go down any practical work example to the maker the superposition theorem apply chair on a key catch them a circuit containing only independent sources mother on the lead dependent sources on the world consider only one source to be active at a time and the easy experiment to any Superposition theorem apply just circuit along and content of a source act to go to the another source will be deactivated Yes, sir. I activation deactivation one source if it is active voltage source removal of ideal voltage source may be short circuit Ideal voltage source practical voltage source will be some internal resistance will be placed Voltage source and the short circuit just the row why the voltage source will be short circuited 
because uh, in short circuit voltage will be zero hence uh, we are replacing voltage source by short circuit whereas replacing current source by open circuit in open circuit current will be zero hence the supervision there can be used while replacing current source we have to open circuit in open circuit what is the value of current is zero hence if you open the current source then it acts as open circuit hence practical ga unde so ammeter voltmeter se varna unde kachithanga internal resistance tho short chestar voltmeter saithe ammeter saithe open circuit chestaru procedure for applying superposition theorem if there are practical sources replace them by a combination of ideal source and an internal resistance as shown in figure if ammeter if current source is there for current source internal resistance is connected in parallel whereas voltage source internal resistance will be connected in series if you short then the internal resistance will be like this if you open the circuit by for current source then internal resistance will be parallel మనం గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాల్సింది కరెంట్ సోర్స్ మనం ఓపెన్ సర్క్యూట్ చేస్తున్నాం అంటే దాని ఇంటర్నల్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ పేలల్లో కనెక్ట్ చేయాలి ఇక్కడ సర్క్యూట్లు రైట్ సైడ్ చూపించిన విధంగా లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ చూస్తే మీరు వోల్టేజ్ సోర్స్ని డియాక్టివేట్ చేసేటప్పుడు షార్ట్ సర్క్యూట్ చేస్తాం ఒకవేళ ఇటు ప్రాక్టికల్ వోల్టేజ్ సోర్స్ అయితే దాని రెసిస్టెన్స్ మనకు తెలుసుకుంటే ఆరు ఇంటర్నల్ రిప్లేస్ చేస్తాం ఈ విధంగా సర్క్యూట్లు ఇక్కడ ఒక చిన్న ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సింపుల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ టూ వోల్టేజ్ సోర్సెస్ ఉన్నాయి వి వన్ వి టూ అండ్ రే టోటల్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ ఆర్ టోటల్ సర్క్యూట్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఈజ్ ఆర్ find the current flow resistance r first step is v2 will be deactivated by short circuit if there is internal resistance we can replace with internal resistance that is first step short circuiting the voltage source v2 finding the current i1 i1 equal to v by v1 by r by using ohm's law in the second step short circuiting the voltage source v1 and finding the current i2 సెకండ్ స్టెప్లో వి వన్ షార్ట్ సర్క్యూట్ చేసాం వి టూ యాక్టివ్ యాక్టివ్లో ఉంటుంది అప్పుడు అప్పుడు ఐ టూ ఈక్వల్ టు వి టూ బై ఆర్ ద నెట్ కరెంట్ ఈస్ ఐ వన్ ప్లస్ ఐ టూ దట్ ఈస్ వి వన్ బై ఆర్ మైనస్ వి టూ బై ఆర్ సూపర్పొజిషన్ థియరమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ఎనీ లీనియర్ బయోలాట్రల్ రేస్ టు నెట్వర్క్ కంటైనింగ్ టూ ఆర్ మోర్ వోల్టేజ్ సోర్సెస్ ఎక్కువ వోల్టేజ్ సోర్సెస్ consisting network for that network we are applying superposition theorem the resultant current in any branch is the algebraic sum of currents that would be produced by each voltage source acting alone all other voltage sources being replaced by their internal resistances that is voltage source will be short circuited current source will be open circuited in linear bilateral network the algebraic sum of currents is equal to the total current passing through one branch find the current flow 30 ohms resistance by using superposition theorem that is the numerical problem according to if you understand this problem you can easily solve any type of questions on superposition theorem there are two resistances 10 ohms and 20 ohm and 30 ohm and yes so two voltage sources 50 volts and 20 volts are connected for this network now what are the steps we have to follow is step 1 step 2 step 3 three steps we have to follow first we have to consider 50 volt voltage source uh, and 20 volts voltage source will be short circuited that means deactivated after that second step 2 we go for minus 20 volts will be activated this 20 volts will be activated and 50 volts will be short circuited in step wise we will go now in step 1 consider 50 volts voltage source alone short 20 volts by short circuited v20 volts now we are finding the total resistance to calculate what is the current flows through this 50 volts what is the current flows through from this source it we are calculating the total current i entering through 10 ohms resistance is i equal to v by rt the total resistance we are calculating 30 ohm and 20 ohm both are in parallel and 10 is in series the hence 10 ohm plus 30 parallel with 20 ohm the equivalent resistance of 20 into 30 and 30 by 10 plus 20 into 30 by 30 plus 20 this is the parallel combination of 20 ohm and 30 ohm that is 10 plus 2 that is 22 ohm is the total resistance from that we calculated it equal to v by rt that is 50 by 22 gives 2.72 amps 
that is due to only 50 volts voltage source only the current flows through is 2.72 amps here we are using current division rule what is the current flows through 30 ohms due to 50 volts source only e 50 volts voltage source dwara enta current 30 ohms lo veltadi by using current division ikkada varaku 20 10 ohms lo poye current vachi 2.72 amps ikkada pothuntadi 2.72 amps will flow in 10 ohms resistance ikkada divide avutadi ikkada divide avutundante kachithanga manam current division rule apply cheyali ee 30 ohms lo poye resistance lo ganukovali current division rule em cheptundo ippudu chuddam current division rule em cheptundi ఎక్కడైనా పోయే కరెంట్ కనుక్కోవాలంటే ఇలా పేరలల్ గా ఉన్నప్పుడు సపోజ్ కరెంట్ త్రో 30 ఓమ్స్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఇస్ ix అంటే x బ్రాంచ్ లో పోయే కరెంట్ కనుక్కోవాలి అనుకుంటే టోటల్ కరెంట్ ఇన్ టు రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆపోజిట్ బ్రాంచ్ బై రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆపోజిట్ బ్రాంచ్ ప్లస్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ కరెంట్ బ్రాంచ్ దట్ ఇస్ ద కరెంట్ త్రో 30 ఓమ్స్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ x బ్రాంచ్ a బ్రాంచ్ లో x బ్రాంచ్ లో కనుక్కోవాలనుకున్నప్పుడు కరెంట్ i1 అనుకున్నాం x బ్రాంచ్ లో I1 equal to total current 2.72 into 20 by 20 plus 30. That equal to opposite resistance is 30 ohms opposite resistance is current division is takes place in 30 ohms and 20 ohms. For 30 ohms, 20 ohms is the opposite resistance, not 10 ohms because the entire current passes through 10 ohms. After that, it is divided. And the opposite branch, two branches divide just from the current 2.72 ohms. 2 currents divide just on a 2 resistances opposite resistance then 30 ohms resistance ki 20 ohm is the opposite resistance 20 ohms ki 30 ohm is the opposite resistance suppose if it is a voltage source here for this we calculated i1 total current into opposite branch resistance is 20 ohms divided by 20 plus 30 that gives 0.908 amps ikkada mana current direction i1 downward anukunnam kabatti indicate the mark because it is very important marking also ee vidhanga manam current division rule apply chesi 30 ohms lo poye current kanukunnam now we are 50 volts short circuit chesi ikkada 20 volts active chesi again same principle we are applying step 2 consider 20 volts voltage source only and 50 volts voltage source short chesam ikkada Consider 20 volts voltage source alone and deactivate 50 volts by short circuit because if any internal resistance is there for that voltage source we have to re represent here because it is an ideal source we short circuit it directly. IT equal to VT by RT that is 20 by 27.5 that is VT is 20 volts and total resistance we calculate 27.5. How we are getting 27.5? 27.5 allows in the end parallel. Current is 20 volts in the end of 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 the end from that 0.727 amps we are getting that is i3 we assumed that i3 we are calculating from current division rule again what is current division rule current division rule e rule apply jaisi malla i3 calculate jaisi na i3 equal to 0.727 opposite branch resistance is 10 ohm divided by opposite branch resistance plus current branch resistance 30 that is 0.0.0 181 amps वोच्चिन इंट step 3 लो इए 2 currents direction downwards वोन्ने गवट याड जेसे एच्चु अधेर upward वोन्टे minus चेवाले i30 ohm equal to i1 plus i3 equal to 0.908 previous गवच्चिन value plus e value 2 याड जेसे 1.089 is the current flows through this 30 ohm resistance in 30 30 ohms resistance is 1 amp around 1.089 amps is flowing the 30 ohms that is simple three steps method to find calculate uh, superposition theorem superposition theorem means we are giving the super power for 20 volts and remaining will be short circuited or open circuited similarly 50 volts super power we given after that we calculated that's why it is known as superposition theorem e simple steps three steps follow just total five current we can calculate in a superposition theorem